Hello again, those of you watching, or who may be watching, you are awesome if you are. I am uh, the filthy casual. That's what I'm going to just start calling myself. Hopefully no one else is doing that. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm not alone. All the other filthy casuals. That's quite the entrance for this level, isn't it? Considering the first one was really, really slow and uh, lackluster. Anywho, here we are, second level. A little more enjoyable, a little more to talk about. A um, lot more deaths this time around. Here's Laura showing her killer instincts by slaughtering innocent animals and invading their homes. There are a lot of bats in this level, by the way. Just a heads up. It's a little maddening. Um, but yeah. So, uh, this level, just kind of to throw this out there, it's a little different in that, um, I know you're around the corner, you little son of a bitch. No, did I break it again? Never mind, there's supposed to be a wolf that comes out this part, but this is the second time now he's just not showing up. So we just broke the game! Oh my god, there it is! It's trolling me, I swear. Um, but no. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh yeah, uh, everything's laid out kind of flat in this level. Um, a little more to just kind of stable or uh, to explore, I guess, um, rather than uh, being so straightforward and the obvious progressing through um, this one. You kind of have to. This is my personal routine: is to just take the perimeter and just stay as close to the side as I can. It's that's pretty much all it is: is a square. I know that sounds really boring. Um, I promise it's not that simple. <clears throat> uh, so here we are at the beginning. Yeah, I know that's pretty simple, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but this level is really cool. Oh, we got a pool to swim in this time. And um, something I've really liked about um, not just this level, but future levels, is um, the detail they put into um, like the texture and just overall, like uh, you see the plants. They look so natural, don't they? The way they're placed. You've got this cool little area here. Um, it's obviously some kind of stable for bears. These people rode bears. That's <laughs> that was their mode of transportation, apparently. Um, I'm sorry. That's silly. Riding bears. But yeah, I think it's really cool. It's a little more uh, in depth, I guess. Um, we're gonna go dive right in here, literally, into the water. Um, something I nitpicked at, just to be kind of a smart ass. Uh, original Tomb Raider Lara Croft can swim. Can reboot Lara Croft swim? <laughs> no. Well, she kind of can. She can uh, wade in the water and um, get the shit kicked out of her down a raging river. But anyways. Sorry, I don't mean to dis reboot Lara Croft. She's still cool. Um, I've actually kind of learned from replaying... Ooh, that was weird. Replaying these older ones, just how... Um, <laughs> not to dis this one either. It's still a lot of fun. But it's just, you know, it's not what I remembered. Um, for ex uh, it gets a little better in other Tomb Raiders, because, I mean, you know, you kind of can fix the things that might not have worked so well in the prior or previous games. Um, but these little secret rooms, like what I found here, um, let's see, this is one of the things I kind of nitpicked before, was uh, the XP that you would find in those secret rooms on Reboot Tomb Raider. Um, uh, I mean, that makes sense for that game. You find the XP, you upgrade your weapons. This one, you kind of find, like, health packs and other weird stuff. Um, and that, that makes sense for this one, too. It's just, like, mm, I haven't really found... I have been playing ahead quite a bit, and I haven't really found um, a puzzle that I just was, like... It didn't really... It just felt like it could have been any room, and they just decided, uh, this room was kind of tricky to find. Let's make that little secret noise appear up whenever they find it, like this one. Ooh, mystery. Also, um, speaking of things that you find that are useless, um, they just, throughout the game, I just picked up... The health pack is nice. We'll need that, obviously, for when I'm close to death several times. But they give you magnum ammo for... And the magnum... I'm not gonna lie, we're not getting that for a while, guys. We're stuck with the pistols for a, a good chunk of it, and we'll get the shotgun pretty soon. Yeah, see these tiles? That just looks really nice to me. It's really pretty. 
Um, something else to kind of mention just while I'm thinking about it, if you kind of listen, you can hear that echoing uh, sort of background noise. Yeah, that right there sounds really good, I think. Um, <laughs> or, or more so just uh, to say um, I like it a lot more because there are some future levels where I might go a little insane and snap from time to time because um, essentially she's, she's in the mountains so they're gonna just they had the bright idea to play this 10 second loop of wind constantly and I just wanted to smack my face on the wall it got really bad sometimes um, but anywho oh, here's a fun little thing to kind of nitpick at and by fun I mean just eh. um, when I was younger I wasn't exactly the sharpest still not quite but anyways, so this is obvious now. You just action key this obvious block in the room and push. But um, in my defense, and in, in my younger person defense, if I could go back in time and just give myself a hug and not beat myself up, I'd always get stuck in this room because the only tutorial in this game, besides just figuring stuff, the only tutorial in this game is on the opening or the title menu there's um you can go essentially it's it's her house you go to her house and she teaches you to tumble and that's pretty much it she doesn't teach you about like interacting with things like this and there's some other parts in the in future levels just the same thing like you just get stuck because you don't really know what to do until you figure it out and uh, kudos to whoever figures it out but it just takes so long and it gets to be really frustrating and then you're just when you're frustrated you're not really having all that much fun um so yeah this is a cool little room i like i like the attention to um ooh, this cute little uh god idol thing that must be what all the skulls around it are for because it's special so it gets a skull room This is obviously where they would have sat and uh, played Magic the Gathering on this table here. <laughs> I'm just joking, we know they didn't have magic. Lots of health packs laying around. I used to always be really worried that I'd never have enough or I was using them too often, but really, um, there's just so many go you know like if you're worried you're gonna fall and die and because you only have so much health left just go for it and use a pack because there there's a plethora of them throughout this game here we go can't remember what other points i was thinking of i've i've honestly recorded this part half a dozen times and it's i'm this just, I'm borderline going insane because of just some technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm just going into your home and shooting you all. Die, die. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is the final take. She really is just terrible. I remember not really thinking um, too much on it about like, I just figured, you know, ah, she's going exploring and there's dangerous animals and she has to take care of them by defending herself. <laughs> but, um, there was a zero punctuation review um, where he had mentioned how she was just a merciless animal killer and now I can't stop thinking about it. It's a little bit more, actually it's not to be terrible, but it's more fun this way now, now that I'm just slaughtering little things. If only little rabid bunnies would come out. Okay, here's something just to kind of comment on. Um, this is kind of, I call this like the little baby puzzle for pretty much the rest of the game. Um, because that's essentially what a lot of these puzzles are, is just um, climbing, and uh, it requires a lot of patience, um, because if you mess up, you're going to have to stop, and or you're going to have to start all over, or if you die, again, you'll just have to start over. That's just that. So you want to be patient. Um, these bats, I swear, they're actually, they seem like harmless and just kind of um, ir like irritating, which they are, but they can also just be your worst nightmare, because um, like I said, a lot of the levels are just a lot of climbing and um, going up to great heights. 
and sometimes you get on tiny little like walkways and the a bat will come down out of nowhere right on your face just chipping away at you but if you roll back or something too fast and you fall off the ledge and you can't catch it right you're dead so they're kind of bastards too aren't they that's why we shoot all of them some more nice little health packs I don't know how so many health packs got here. Apparently a lot of people journeyed this way and just died. And they left all their health packs. Ooh. I always do that. Here's a room. I used to just be really cocky. And I used to try and... Ooh, uh, I guess I, I kind of have to do it. It's a Tomb Raider game. Uh, uh. Sorry. I just got that on my system. Um, it's a Tomb Raider game, you know? Like, everyone did it. Even I did it when I was little not to be weird or anything. Um, but anywho, this is one of those things, like, they, they kind of put this here, and I guess it's sort of an option. Like, they, it could technically be faster, but really, it's just so much easier to climb up, do that one little long jump, climb up this way, get yourself kind of positioned, and just long jump the rest of the way over. Because falling in that water, like, it's not a big deal. You're not going to die. But if you do that over and over that's where it kind of gets you. And then the more frustrated you get, it just gets harder. And it's not even like that hard of a puzzle. It just gets more and more difficult because of that frustration. So, pull the lever. Oh, these levels. I love this red color. I love the red carpets or whatever they are. Yeah. Some levels um, I look forward to because they're just, oh, like, I, I'm not really sure. I don't th think I said it yet, um, but I'm not really sure what to compare them to, considering when this game came out. Like, I know there was, like, um, like what, Crash Bandicoot was really cool and pretty, and um, uh, we had, like, Gex and some other games um, that I thought looked really nice. Uh, but this one just, I think, considering when it came out, is exceptional. Oh! I'm so scared. Oh, look. This is a part just... this this I'm doing this for me. I like watching him run. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, look. Look. Oh, my God. That's so funny. And he's just going to sit here and let me shoot him now. Here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now I'm stuck on his face. And I face derped. Some cool looking faces. Oh, it just looks so nice. And I like the way the water, um, I, I, I just, <laughs> don't want to say natural, but I mean, yeah, just, it looks really nice. And they've got kind of a little, you can see the water moving. That's always really cool. Here's a switch. Pull the lever again. Jump again. Oops. I used to literally, like, if I could afford to jump everywhere when I played when I was younger, that's what I would do. Um, oh, cool, that door opened, too. That's good to know. But we're not quite done. Actually, no, we actually are getting... Spoiler, we're pretty close to the ending here. Um, so, actually, before we finish, I would like to say... That is the most pointless switch ever, but aside from that... Um, thank you, everyone who watched my first Let's Play... I know it wasn't the greatest, but and I wasn't expecting or anticipating that many views. I know it wasn't a lot, but to me that meant that was just so many more than I was even counting on. And um, the comments were really encouraging. Thank you so much. Um, I'll definitely keep trying. And again, I can use all the advice in the world. If there's anything I could do different or better, please let me know. Um, I will do what I can to improve, and hopefully I can do these more frequently now. I've just been having really, really, really weird technical difficulties. Let's just leave it at that. So I'm going to place the key in, and to make life easier on me, I'm going to save. And before I save, I would like to pre uh, uh, brace yourself. I save a lot, and if you were playing this too, you wouldn't blame me.